Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you how to set up a template in Logic Pro. And I'm going to show you my favorite template that you can follow along and you can make for yourself. So let's jump right into the doc. By the way, if you have my Logic Pro Crash Course, you could follow along with the first chapter, section one, setting up preferred settings. I just got married on Saturday. So I have a few more days left of my wedding sale, 50% off this Logic Pro Crash Course, and I'll link it in the description. Okay, so the first thing I do is press Option P. This is Project Settings. And here I'm going to make sure that MIDI Chase is turned on. If it's not turned on, check it out. When I play in the middle of a MIDI note, no sound comes out. If I have MIDI, Chase, and Notes selected, now it'll play. Pretty cool. Also, if I press Option P, go to Recording, and make sure Automatically Colorized Takes is checked off. Now, when I record, and I, if I go over here to Overlapping MIDI Recordings, and I select Create Take Folder, when I cycle, check it out. It colorize each of the takes. I always like having a third tool here so I can use it, I can assign the third tool to my mouse click, to my right mouse click. To get there, you do command comma, go over to editing, go over to, oh no, go over to general, go over to editing, and make sure it says right mouse button is assignable to a tool. Yours probably looks like this right now, so make sure it's assignable to a tool. Also, another thing that I like to do is have fade tool click zones set off. So let me just go over here and drag in some sort of chords. Drag that in. Okay, and now if I press command comma, general editing, and I have fade tool click zone checked off, check this out. When I hover here, I can add a fade out or a fade in. You can also drag out this region and you can add fades here too. Fade out, fade in. And if you X out, it'll just come right back. Another thing you could do with fades is you can speed it up. And with fade outs, you can slow it down. <laughs> Pretty cool. So you can do overlapping track options here. So remember how I showed you how I went over to recording, create take folders. Sometimes I like it to just merge. So that would look like this. Whatever, you get it. So then it merged in instead of creating take folders. So up to you. If you press option T, you can configure your track situations. So you can have the color bars show, you can have the groove track show, where you, if you hover over here, you can have a star, and then you can have other tracks align to that main groove track. If you saw, check it out. Moved over, bang. So this track follows this groove track, this main groove track. You can also add track alternatives. So if I want to create a new track on this exact track to try out something different, I could do new, record something in. Whatever, you get it? And then I can go back and forth between track A and track B. Another thing that I like to do in the piano roll is go over to view and select note labels. And now I could see the note labels on the piano roll. Pretty useful. 
So I can see C3, E3, G3, A sharp 3. Pretty helpful. Another thing that I like to do is go over here and do customize control bar and display. And then you could set your ideal preferences, um, what you like to be seen here. Um, I typically like this just to be like beats in time, but you can add different things if you would like it. Another thing that I like to do is have the metronome click only while recording. So if I turn it on right now, it's gonna click during playback, but I only want it to click when I'm recording. So I'm gonna uncheck simple mode, and then I'm gonna right click again and go click while recording. So now when I record, You can hear the metronome, but when I play back, you don't hear the metronome, which I think is awesome. If you want to extend the project, um, I like it so I have a little bit of space before measure one. So you just hover here until that little icon appears, then you can just drag it out a little bit. Something else that I like to have is make sure auto select automation parameter in read mode. So now let's say I want to press A to automate and this box right now says volume. But let's say I want to automate something in here and I don't want to have to click a million pieces to try to find it. It's like I want to automate this filter. Bam! Check it out. It automatically changed that for me. So when I press automate, press a dot, I can just start automating this. Pretty cool. Something else that's really cool. If this is highlighted and you want to quickly duplicate, all you got to do is double click in this area. Bam, it duplicated this type of track for you. So let's say I want an audio track, double click here. Bam, it created an audio track. I want another software instrument track, double click here. Bam. One other thing that I like to do for my template before moving on, before saving it, I'm actually going to go to my arrangement chapter in my Logic Pro Crash course. I'm going to go and set up some of my favorite arrangement situations. To configure arrangement global tracks, I'm going to press Option G. This pops up and I'm going to unselect everything except for markers. Now I'm going to add a giant marker. And then I'm just going to cut it up into four bars because I like my songs to, to be, I like to have my markers in four bar increments. So I know something could change every two to four bars. So I'm just going to go cut, cut. I'm using my right mouse clicker because the scissor tool is on my right, is assigned to my right mouse button. So I'm just going cut, cut, cut. And that's pretty good for now. So then with this last one, what I can do is hold down command, click to cut it. And now I have my markers. Now I have a template that I like. What I'm going to do is go up here to file, save as template, and I can save it as, um, let's say like eight, four bar loop template. And that's it. Now if I open up a Logic Pro, new from template, can do close. Don't save. And something that I did that you shouldn't do is I saved this one here. So I will actually delete that and resave my template. Some people also like to save their favorite instruments. They just like to have it all ready, all geared up for their template. So don't forget to check out my Logic Pro crash course. You can check it out on the desktop here, and then it goes back to the top. So many tips in here. A whole chapter on the Logic Pro 11 update. I, it also comes with a black and white version if you want to print it out or you prefer this version. And another cool thing is when you click on the chapter title, it will open up to your account on my website. You just log in and then it'll take you to a video showing you how to do all of the tricks in that chapter. Right now it is on sale. This bundle comes with desktop tricks, which you can see here, bam, and it comes with three the basics, composing, and editing key commands. If you type in wedding 50, it is on sale. Thank you all so much. I really hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.